convict us like you're seeing time and time after time after time whenever he's got that opportunity to improve to go to uh, to take a bigger challenge on he takes the opportunity and you love to see it that level of ambition is going to do him well now okay another video from the boy nabuto how victor Osiman became the world's best striker without wasting any more time let's get straight into it we know what victor Osiman did at napoli this year we know the partnership that he created with kivka kavach kelly another player that we talk about in this channel and we know how important it was what they did for the city of napoli Victor Osiman is one of the best strikers in the world right now. His goals this one season are why best. Napoli are about to win the Serie A for the first time since 1990. Additionally, Osiman's finishing and strength are also why he has become the most expensive African player in history after he joined the Italian club. Hmm. He's had so many great performances this season that some even believe that he's worth well over 100 million euros in the transfer market. However, what if I'm Napoli, if I'm Napoli, the same thing that I said on my coverage Kelly video, I am not selling Victor Osiman for anything less than 100 million when you look at victor man victor Osiman, sorry as a player and what he adds to the game from his ability to just be um, a goal threat from inside the box outside the box he's excellent on the header he's excellent on the build-up play he can go on the wing and be a player one-on-one -on -one. he's so so valuable such a complete striker and he's young <laughs> and he's young so i'm not selling him for anything less than 100 million what if I told you that Osman genuinely came from nothing and had a ton of failures in his career before he became one of the hottest strikers in the world? Well, I'll talk about all that since this video- That's the part you don't see. That's why I appreciate Nava for making these videos because that's the part you don't see. It was about how Victor Osiman became one of the best strikers despite all the odds being stacked <coughs> against him. <coughs> Osiman's childhood was dark and difficult. Although he was born in the big city of Lagos, Nigeria, he actually grew up in a district called Olosusun, which is often most known for having oh, the largest geez. garbage dump site in Nigeria. His childhood was really difficult though, with Osiman losing his mom at an early age, and then his father losing his job three months later after that. This meant that- Oh my god. Osiman and his five siblings had to find a way to make ends meet. That's when Osiman, the youngest out of all the siblings, used to sell water on the streets to get some cash and gave it all to his big sister so she could use it to prepare food. As you can see, Osiman's childhood was filled with a ton of hardship. However, despite his difficult childhood, Osiman always loved football and had a real talent for it. With him saying himself that football was the only way out for him and his family, he had no choice but to make it. Osiman decided that he wanted to be a striker at a young age. The reason why is he wanted to be like his idol Didier Drogba, <laughs> who's one of the best African players of all time. Osiman used Used to watch YouTube clips of Drogba and emulated his game around him. This helped Osiman a ton and he eventually became one of the hottest properties in Nigeria. The national team took notice of him as well because while he was playing for the Ultimate Strikers Academy in Lagos, Nigeria, he was selected to play for the U-70 World Cup in 2015 wow. with his country. And at this tournament, Osiman showed his real world-class talent. At the Under-70 World Cup, Nigeria were drawn into a group with Croatia, United States, and the host of the tournament. Before we carry on, because we just had the background, um, like the background of Victor Osiman, what I want to say is very similar to what I said on my video of Vinicius Jr. and of Rodrigo. It's like, how can you not want, how can you not wish this place to succeed? How can you look at a player like Victor Osiman, who came from such adversity and who flipped everything around, and how can you not want this place to succeed? I love Osiman's game. I love the way he plays. And then when you find things out about how he was able to overcome all of these, all of these things, his mom passing in, uh, away in a, such, such a young age. You know what that does to a person losing your mom at such a young age? And this man just managed to reach the highest heights of world football. There's no way, uh, there's no way you don't, you don't root for Osiman and you don't want him to succeed. This is beautiful, man. Chile. To everybody's surprise though, Nigeria topped the group. They easily swept past my country, the United States, on the first match day 2-0, with Osiman getting one goal in the match. Of then course against he Chile, did. Nigeria absolutely destroyed the host 5-1, and Osiman went on to get two goals in the game. Now Nigeria ended up losing to Croatia 2-1, but Osiman still got on the score sheet. Then in the round 16, Nigeria had to face Scoring Australia in every round. By beating them 6 and Osiman went crazy in that game and got himself a hat-trick. This game had scouts all around the world looking at him because he was showing his true world-class ability. 
ability. Now, the quarterfinal game was against the favorites Brazil, and nobody expected Nigeria to get past them. Nah. However, not only did Nigeria beat Brazil, wow. they destroyed them 3 0. And OCB scored wow. again. Then they had to face a very strong Mexico under 17 side, but beat them 4 2. And OCB, you guessed it, got another goal. Surely he can't score in every game at the tournament, right? Well, he did, because in an African final against Mali, Nigeria won 2 0 with OCB scoring the opening goal of the final. Oh, OCB managed to score days. in every single game of this world. Oh my day. Take a bow. This man is something else. Take a bow. World Cup and help Nigeria lift the World Cup as well. He also went on to win the Golden Boot, obviously, with him getting 10 goals and 2 assists throughout the entire tournament. He also won the Silver Ball at the Tough. tournament as well, which just showed how good he was at the World Cup. Now, obviously, these types of performances at a World Cup is going to have top clubs monitoring you. And that's when around a year later, Osimhen decided to join German Giants Wolfsburg for around 3.5 million euros, despite interest from Anderlecht, Tottenham, and even Arsenal. However, his type of Wolfsburg... Good thing he didn't go to Tottenham. <laughs> Arsenal, he may have been able to do something there, but Tottenham, good thing he didn't go to Tottenham, man. Wolfsburg wasn't impressive whatsoever, and he ended up becoming a flop for the club. That's because of the first season he joined them, he was hampered by a meniscal injury that kept him out for around four months. And when he came back, he only got to play three games. The next season, he got to play more games. However, he failed to register a single goal Ooh. or assist. And also, he was most- Zero goals? That's tough. That is tough coming off the bench rather than being a starter for a struggling Wolfsburg side at the time. This was disappointing for Osimhen because this only recently happened after that super impressive under-17 World Cup tournament. Now I feel like Osimhen might never live up to his full potential due to his underwhelming performances at Wolfsburg. Now listen, Osimhen was still a raw and talented teenager, so Wolfsburg sent him out on loan for game time. He tried for two good Belgian clubs in Zolta Waregem and Club Bruges. However, Osimhen's bad luck continued. Over the summer transfer window period, Osimhen came down with malaria, which affected his physical condition, and this made Neither of the two clubs take him alone. However, another Belgian club, Charleroi, decided to step in and sign mm -hmm. the teenage sensation. With Charleroi putting that much faith into Osimhen, he couldn't let them down. And believe me, he did it. With the Belgian club, Osimhen ended up exploding onto the scene Cheers. and got 20 goals and 4 assists in 36 there games. You go. With an amazing season like this, Charleroi were almost obliged there to sign him from that loan deal and sign him permanently for 3.5 million euros. However, Osimhen didn't actually play for Charleroi next season. That's because after a month of signing him permanently to the Belgian club, he actually actually left to go join Lille for around 22.4 million euros. Charleroi definitely wanted to keep him, but seeing how they could get a profit of 18.9 million yeah, euros, they couldn't pass that offer up. Now you would think that Osimhen would need a little bit of time to get used to playing in a top 5 league again, since it's more difficult than the Belgian league. However, Osimhen took off right away. In his debut for Lille against Nantes, he got himself a brace, showing that he was ready to score a ton of goals this season for Lille. And he did just that, because by the time his debut season with Lille ended, he managed to get 18 goals and 6 assists. This man's finishing never ceases to amaze me, man. Just to score here as well. And he did it's just like that. the technique to get the ball away from his body with the defender on him and just he just smashes it. He because just by the time his it. debut season with Lille ended, he managed to get 18 goals Top and 6 in. assists in 38 games. Getting 18 goals for a new club in your first season is crazy. And Osimhen managed to do just that with Lille. Now he didn't just do well in Ligue 1 though because he also exploded in the Champions League even yeah. though it was his first time playing in that competition. With goals against Chelsea and Valencia, this put him on the radar of other top clubs around Europe and one of them was Napoli. Real quick, if you made it this far in the video, please Sorry. remember As to subscribe. As per usual, leave the link to Nabito's channel in the description if you're not going to show him some love afterwards guys it's completely free and you can always unsubscribe later in the future if you want to thank you going back to Osimhen most players tend to stay with the club longer than just one season however with Victor Osimhen he was already ready to move on to the next challenge when yeah. Napoli came knocking with an that's, offer that's another looked. thing from Osimhen like certain players would get comfortable in staying in that position but with Victor it's like you're seeing time and time after time after time whenever he's got that opportunity to improve to go to uh, to take a bigger challenge on, he takes the opportunity, and you love to see it. That level of ambition is going to do him well. Now, I'm glad he's going to stay another year at Napoli this time. What kind of contradicts what I said? But I'm glad he he's going to stay for another year because it just gives me gives him time to continue to um, develop this team that him, Kravatskhelia, and other key pieces in the team built around, and uh, and the uh, the teams that he was being. Uh, rumored with teams like Chelsea and stuff, they already have problems there. So just stay in that situation for now, and the next year you can make Napoli even, an even bigger profit couldn't refuse. Napoli coughed up 75 million euros to sign the Nigerian star, and this meant oh, 75? Jesus Christ. 
Jesus. This has been the most expensive African player ever. And also the seventh most expensive Serie A signing <coughs> of all time. This type of big money comes with big expectations. However, yeah. Osman has definitely lived up to that price tag in hindsight. He has. However, he came to Napoli with prior injury issues and he also started off his Napoli career with an injury as well. After only playing a few games for Napoli, he injured his shoulder on international duty with Nigeria. And this injury made him miss around two months of football. Immediately after that, Osman was struck with COVID and had to miss more games for Napoli. Now after the 2021 season ended, Osman only managed to get 10 goals and 3 assists in 30 games. Not bad for his first season, but this is a worth Yeah, not, not bad, but 75 million, the most expensive African player of all time. You kind of expect a little bit more. 5 million euros. However, he improved in the next season. The 21-22 campaign was going yeah. well for Osimhen until Napoli played Inter Milan. In that game, Osimhen smashed his cheekbone against Skriniar, the Inter Milan defender. It was being reported that the injury was so bad that his eye even came out of his socket. Ew. Now, during a three-hour procedure to fix everything, the complicated surgery has six plates and 18 screws into Osimhen's face to fix everything Jesus up. Christ. This injury could have been career-ending. However, with Osimhen coming from nothing, he learned to never give up and keep moving forward, like Aaron Yeager, and came back from injury. W. Aaron Yeager. <laughs> <laughs> if you know, you know. W. Aaron Yeager. <laughs> Man, I love Nabito. <laughs> I love this guy. <laughs> w. Aaron Yeager. W. Aaron Yeager. <laughs> around two months later. Nowadays, because of that injury, Osman plays with a face mask to protect his eye socket and cheek, but now the face mask has also become synonymous with Osman, and the yeah. Napoli fans love that mask on him. In fact, there are dogs right now dressing up as Osman with the face mask and a ton of Osman cakes with the face mask as well. <laughs> it's safe to say that Napoli fans love the new face mask on Osman. Now fast forward to the end of the season, Osman managed to get 18, 18 goals, goals and 6 assists in 32 games. Now it's really looking like that that price tag was worth it. Now let me tell you, in the following 22 20 And now this season... This season, Victor Osimhen came to play for real, for real. His first season on Napoli, he struggled for, with injuries. His second year, it was better, but still not really up to that standard. And now 22-23, one of the best strikers in the world. In my opinion, the second best striker, second only to Erling Haaland season that 75 million euro price tag might have been too little for Osimhen. Yeah, exactly. that's because at the time of me filming this video Osimhen has 25 goals and five assists in 29 games 21 this goals and 23 games take a bow take a bow This dude uh, means so that he has more goal contributions than games played for Napoli this season. Additionally, Osimhen's sparkling form is a huge reason why Napoli are running away with the Serie A this year, with <laughs> them being around 18 points ahead of second place. 18 They're points ahead is crazy. <laughs> 18 points ahead is crazy. That's crazy. That's a smart. <laughs> They're literally about to win their first Serie A title since 1990, and that was when Diego Maradona was still playing for the Naples club. Rest in peace to the legend, by the way. Anyways, Osman's form isn't just helping Napoli in the Serie A, but also in the Champions League. Even though Napoli was put into a group with last year's finalist Liverpool, they still managed to top the group, top which meant the that group. they got Eintracht Frankfurt in the round 16. That's when Osman managed to score one goal in the first leg, and also get two goals in the second leg for Napoli to go to the quarterfinals. Now, at the time of me making this video, the quarterfinals have not been played yet. However, Napoli are playing AC Milan, and if they win that match, which they probably will they lost they lost i had not played going free but they lost <laughs> So they play the winners of Benfica versus Inter to see who gets that spot in the final so it's very possible that napoli could actually be playing in the champions league final this season and also they didn't they bottled it it would be a very big reason for this happening. Overall, Osimhen's journey to being a superstar is inspiring, especially because he defied all the odds that were stacked against him, like growing up in poverty and failing at his first club. Mm. However, he kept moving forward, like Aaron Yeager, and made it into the football Love scene, you, and now he's one of the best players this season. Look at Osimhen, man. So inspirational. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please remember to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you won't miss... As per usual, guys, I will leave the link to Nabito's channel. I we love Nabito around here. He makes excellent content very in-depth very very good but anyways this is the end of this video as well thank you very much for watching to the end you're much appreciated please leave a like comment subscribe share do all these things to help me grow this channel please and i'll see you guys soon